Hi, we're Midnight Blue, a specialist security consultancy firm. In this video, we're going to demonstrate a proof of concept attack from the Tetra Burst vulnerabilities recently uncovered by our team. Terrestrial Trunked Radio, or Tetra, is a radio communication standard used globally by law enforcement, emergency services, military operators, private security, and harbor and airport personnel. In addition, Tetra is used in a wide area network carrying capacity for SCADA telecontrol of oil and gas pipelines, electrical substations, water management, and even railway signaling. Tetra offers confidential communication guaranteed through its so-called air interface encryption feature. This feature encrypts Tetra traffic by means of one of four proprietary stream ciphers, TEA1, TEA2, TEA3, and TEA4. Of these ciphers, TEA1 can be exported globally with appropriate export approval and can be used by both commercial and government parties. As such, TEA1 is used to protect select law enforcement, military and private security radio communications, as well as SCADA radio links of global critical infrastructure. Tetra is used in many different sectors, ranging from electrical and water utilities to oil and gas, transport, and mining. Since the Tetra encryption algorithms have been kept secret for over 20 years, their security has never been properly publicly evaluated until now. Midnight Blue researchers have reverse engineered the algorithms and uncovered several vulnerabilities in Tetra, including a backdoor in the TEA1 algorithm, which reduces its advertised key strength of 80 bits to a mere 32 bits. This backdoor, which has festered in global critical infrastructure for decades, enables the interception and manipulation of TEA1 protected Tetra communications from anywhere within cell tower coverage, which may be up to tens of kilometers. Due to the simplicity of the backdoor, even attackers with limited resources, such as a $10 radio dongle, can crack TEA1 keys in a matter of minutes. In this demonstration, carried out on a real network, the attacker captures traffic and identifies messages on which to mount the attack. Now, the attacker computes the key used on this frequency. This will take about a minute. Once the key has been cracked, voice communications can be intercepted while the attack remains fully undetected or data can be actively injected. This should have been confidential. In the case of SCADA telecontrol communications being carried over Tetra-wide area networks, attackers could use this vulnerability to obtain direct access deep within the operational technology networks of critical infrastructure, allowing them to intercept and manipulate network traffic controlling equipment like switchgear, circuit breakers, and valves at electrical substations or oil and gas pipelines. Due to the highly sensitive nature of the uncovered issues, Midnight Blue has spent more than one and a half years in a carefully coordinated disclosure process with multiple government and industry stakeholders, guided by the Dutch government's National Cybersecurity Center. During this process, detailed advisories and mitigation guidelines were distributed through the NCSC in order to enable stakeholders in taking appropriate defensive mitigations. Visit MidnightBlue.nl to learn more about our specialist security consultancy firm and the team who uncovered the Tetraburst vulnerabilities first, and Tetraburst.com to learn more about the vulnerabilities discovered in Tetra.